I'm not supposed to be excited. I will smile with everybody. Oh, our result is out. And it dawned on me, I think, when I was in 300 level, that the way my academics are going, I'm not going anywhere, basically. My friends will leave this school and I'm, I will still be in this school. And lo and behold, I don't think I handled the whole uh, realization properly during the time when I was in school. But I knew there was one thing that I told myself that I won't give up. This this won't define me. This is not the person I'm going to be. So regardless of how hard I find myself reading, like oh I'm reading is not I'm not understanding, I will always still go back to read. I might sit down with the book for hours, and at the end of the day, maybe I just finish like three pages. I'll go back to the hostel. The next day, I'll do the same thing again. Uh, when the exam comes, I'll push it through. I did that till I finished BSc. And after my BSc, I was already with this mindset of ah, this uh, was the next step. I can. I can is one exam that I don't think I can write because I mean, look at me. I drank the BSc. It was almost like uh, luck for me to actually scale through. And I told myself one day that if I can is going to be the last thing. I mean, that was what I was telling myself then. If I can is going to be the last thing I'm actually going to do, just to prove myself that I'm not a dollar. I think I'll just I would ensure that I follow through with this. Idea. <laughs> I told myself that right, and it was just a saying because I believe you have to put action to almost everything you try to do. Initially, maybe if I had written it down, I would have gotten a clearer vision to what I was doing. But then I was just like, no way. I don't know how to swim, but this ocean, I'm diving into it, and. I really did a lot during that period because I, I can remember dropping my mobile phone. Uh, our parents used to say that time, is the phone you are present that does not let you understand anything you're doing. And I mean, I never believed that though because, I mean, I never believed it, but I had no choice. I knew what I was chasing. Everybody saying, oh, this could work, that could work. And I dropped the phone. I dropped my mobile phone, changed my line. I don't want anybody reaching me. I stayed with a friend at Blackberry, right? Me and this guy, him, and he has another roommate. We are all writing I can. So it was more like the only thing we're doing is reading. So I moved in with him and we were reading. The, the reading part was the most interesting side. The cooking part was the terrible side. The feeding side was, I mean, good because we can, we had, that one is not important to this. I mean, remembering that. So I observed during that little period of time, I mean, that was 2018 November diet. I observed that to read is not just by, oh, I've gone through this thing, I, I've, I've seen it. Oh. Yeah, okay, this is this. Maybe you read the definition and you just stop there. And you feel like, oh, why did, why did I understand the definition that I just read now, now, now? I mean, maybe for me, right? So I observed that you have to read, 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 and read again. But looking at I can study pack, basically, I, I, I don't know how to read, 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 and read the study pack again. But I remember that diet, I was going for lectures, I was reading the study pack, and yes, it went well. The first diet, I, I passed audits. Audits was the first paper I passed. When I passed audits, I told myself, I said, no, I'm going to become a chartered accountant. Nothing is going to stop me. Then, second diet came in again. That was uh, 2020, 2019. May diet, wrote the remaining four again. I passed just tax. Ah, I was very excited because if everybody is seeing their result and saying, oh, I feel For everyone I passed, it was a victory lap for me because I know where I was coming from. Then 
I moved on to the next diet, which was 2019 November diet. And I passed case study. I remember this particular diet. That was the diet that I ran from SFM because that was the first diet I ran from SFM. I, I never told anybody this, but I'm going to share it. So I think that particular diet, I was writing it at Elysian Remo, right? And I mean, I've gone for lectures, everybody's prepared. I've been reading, I've, I believe that I was ready for the exam. So I mean, my friends were doing revision before the exam, all those revision that we usually do outside the exam room. My friend just passed one test book, he just tossed it to me. He was like, ah, doing, you have to go through this test book. You know, I was like, okay, let me have it. So he gave me the test book and I was going through it one page after the other, one page after the other. It got to a point, I asked the guy, I said, is, is this the same SFM that we are going to sit inside the exam or to go and write? He said, yes, now. I, I said, are you are you sure? He said, no. Aha. This is where I can used to bring question out from. And I'm positive a lot of people know that. This is where they used to bring question out from. I said, okay, okay, okay. Let me not freak out. I mean, I know APV. Let me go to the APV side. I know freak out. Let me go there. Let me, yeah, let me see the ones I know. Upon opening those two. And you know Mole Yewa does not have answer. So it's more like question, 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 then... The answer is at the back. I opened the PV, I opened free cash flow. I saw the question. I don't even know where to start from. I think while I was lost into the textbook, the invigilator started saying, uh, start five minutes to go. Everybody come in, come and have your seats, settle in. My friend was already doing, okay, doing it's time to go, it's time to go, it's time to go. I passed him his textbook. And I told him I'm going. He said, where am I going to? No, he said, yeah, let's go now, let's go. I said, no, I'm not, I'm not going inside that exam hall. I said, I'm, I'm going back to Lagos. He said, how, what do you mean? I said, bro, if this is what I'm looking at, right? And I will have to sit inside that exam hall for three hours to still see this type of question. I don't know, I think I panicked. And he was looking, you know, when everybody was rushing in, he was surprised. He just saw me drive off. This guy is serious. Then I came back, did not cry. I was not sad. I was disappointed in myself. But I know that this bridge that I'm running from, if you pass one, you pass two, you pass three. Are you going to leave CR and SFM and say you are not going to? Ah, no, that's not our target. I will pass it. But let's, let me go first. Let me go first. So I went. I, I went to prepare for case study. So I think that was that was case study. I passed case study. And maybe, maybe God wanted to, you know, straighten me up and say you that have already given enough confidence to face anything. You decide to run away from SFM. I think the fear crept in big time. And from 2019 November diet, the next time I passed another diet was 2022 November diet. From 2019 November diet, the next time I passed another paper, one more paper was 2022 november diet yes 2022 november diet during those period i would tell myself or i think I, my full belief was that every diet i was writing every diet i never stopped one diet i never stopped one diet i was writing it again and again and again and again and again 
the next diet, there was a I think the next the diet after the, that was 2020 first diet. I was COVID. They did March. They, they was, I think we did three diets in that in that year. I wrote everything accordingly. Immediately after COVID, they gave us one month. I wrote it. And when I say I'm preparing for I can exam, I mean if an average person would just I mean take their book in their house and read. I know I can't do that. I know I can't do that. I know I will have to put myself in an environment whereby the only thing that I want to even see is just my book. If I can throw away, do it with my phone. I mean that works for this for me. If I can do it with my phone, I'll do it. So I was I was prepared. So every diet, I will always leave my house, travel all the way to Yaba because I stay around bigger. I don't know. Most of us may not be familiar with Lagos. I stay around bigger. I'll go all the way to Yaba. When I get to Yaba, I would sleep at my friend's place, but I don't sleep over at night. So basically, I usually read at the class. I mean, a lot of us might be familiar with this technique. So we we'll always like have this um, school, like a lecture center, I can lecture center. They will always allow us to, you know, stay there overnight and read. All you do is read overnight, no sleeping for anybody. I mean, if you're tired, you sleep. If you can't sleep, you, you stay up to read. If it's not entering, you sit down there and read. Because it's in the middle of the night. There's no way you want to go to. The worst thing you would do is to stand up from your seat and go and play with someone. And meanwhile, that person came with the target. So is that how you look like the serious one in the class or you sit there and read? And I will tell you that from the 20, uh, from the November diet of 2019 till 2022, no, till 2023 May diet, every diet is not just me writing it. It is me preparing for each diet big time. Um, why is the ultimate? You have a question. Do you have a question? No, no, please, no, no just go ahead. Just when you finish, when you finish, finish for the end. Okay. For the end. All right. So, every diet, I was like going to those classes and will be reading. I was. I'm not always alone. I'm always with people. Uh, a lot of people. Where most of us are like. Most of us are working. A whole lot sleeps in the class. Maybe those that work from home, they sleep in the class. Those that still have to go to the office would, uh, would wake up very early in the morning, start bathing in the cold. You that slept in the class, basically a security man's job. You that slept in the class, mosquito, you have to dress, sock, your cardigan, everything. And I believe that was the moment that it really dawned on me and I learned different methods to actually read and achieve what you want. So there are some things you would want to chase in life. You would see it and you would say, oh, I want this thing. But you just said it and your mind is like keen to it. Oh, so, yes, this is the thing I want. But one thing you're not aware of is the sacrifice you would have to make to actually get that thing, right? I can is one journey that I said, yes, I want it. I was ready for the sacrifice, but I did not know that the sacrifice was also ready for me too. I mean, I wouldn't say the journey was not fun because I see myself grow along the line. Like I see myself grow every diet. I went from uh, this, this particular group, I went from reading with energy drinks to maybe I would take one per day, to maybe another diet I would take like maybe one in two days, to maybe another diet I'll take like three in two days, um, three in let's say a week, till I turn to someone who does not take energy drink again to read at night and I would not sleep. I would be there all through the night. The only thing I would need is just a bottle of water. And one thing that I understand the most with ICANN is that 
there is a point you would get with icon that you would know that you need help i would call it help but i would also say it's more like you would have to find your own personal salvation and a whole lot of people who don't believe i mean a, a lot of people believe in god and there are some people who feels like what are you saying you are writing i can what does god has to do with it miracle won't happen i can tell you for one right that when i was going to qualify before i even wrote the exam i knew that i i have qualified i have not written the exam but i knew that i've qualified and that can only happen because i found my own salvation during that journey if you think uh, going to church while writing I can is going to happen like a miracle and you're going to pass just because you're going to church. I will tell you, I won't say miracle don't work, but I will tell you it is the effort that you put in it that the Lord is going to crown. So if you know yourself to be someone who needs to prepare very hard, but you feel like, oh, let me let me let me fast and pray to God and pray very small. The results will come out. I, I can warn you, right? And you find yourself in this very hard space whereby you won't know what's going on. Right. And during the journey of me feeling again and again and again and again, I will still register for the next diet. As I said, I found salvation and I told I told God that I have tried I have tried everything in this exam. I, what have I not tried? From reading the Omole in what pack that I ran away from the other time to reading different types of test books that they've showed me to attending I attended approximately like five lecture center, FCA, password, um, right paths, uh, online, different ones. I attended the whole lot. I was like, what is the exact problem? And I find myself getting a question back that said, you have done everything, but have you, have you tried your study pack? And mind you, I thought Omole Yowa was the first book that I ran away from, um, the first book that I ran away from. But uh, at the end of the day, it turns out that the study pack was the first thing I ran away from. Because, I mean, SFM is like 700 and something pages or 900. The first, um, the diet before the one day, the syllabus before the one day changed was 900 pages, because I can remember then the new one has now been reduced a bit and i i never opened it i have it i never opened it so november that 2022 i told myself i said okay i mean you can't tell me that i will have to go and read omole and why again i'm not doing that but i told myself i said you see this study pack study pack is the only thing that i'm going to read i play like play study pack was the only thing i was reading a friend of mine right that diet we did hallelujah challenge we did everything there was a night he came to meet me he said doing i've been observing you it is only study pack you are reading you see this sfm sfm is not just theory sfm is theory and practical let's solve questions together me as long as i can and it's the exam i listen to anything anybody says so i was like okay no problem let's let's solve question so the next day he called me i joined him he said oh, where's the question he brought out the question he opened it i opened my own i said let's go i saw the question may i run i mean i can attempt it but i was not ready for that mental stress so I told him to start. You don't worry, continue. I'll join you in the middle. He looked at it, looked at it. 
open the question in the front, go back again. Look at the middle. I said, okay, don't worry. Oh, yeah, open your solution. Open your solution. And mind you, this my friend was only having just SFM. Just SFM. I was still having SFM as here. I said, oh yeah, oh, yeah, open your own solution. Open your solution. Let's let's see what comes out of it. He looked at the solution. He looked at it. He said, oh, we'll start like this. We started. We started after that step that he saw. We couldn't go for that again. I, I just stood up. I said, okay, thank you very much. Well, you see the study pack that I'm reading. I am opening each uh, page one after the other. And the things I'm reading, I understand it perfectly. He said, oh, okay, let's do it that way. So he went in, I went to my side, I read, we wrote the exam. Mind you, when I wrote that exam, right, I was very, I was oversure of my CR. When my mom asked me, ah, how was the exam? I told her, CR, it was very good, mommy. But you see that SFM? I just wrote it, I came out of the exam all like, thank God for the exam. I said, Lord, I thank you for this exam that I just wrote. And lo and behold, results came out. And I checked my results. First, I was the happiest when I saw one. The past list when it came out I was the happiest. I was very happy. Finally, I broke this, this uh, circles of going on and on and feeling again. Then I was down scrolling. I was scrolling. I was thinking. I was scrolling. When I passed CR, I don't understand. I'm not on CR's list. Which list am I now on? I I went down and I saw SFM pass. Do you know? I don't know if anybody has ever had this experience before. You wrote the exam. You sat for the exam. You know you did not cheat. You know you are the one who actually wrote it. But you are surprised with your results. I I was busy. The, the, the only thing I was saying was, what? What was just the thing I was saying? I, I kept on saying, what? What? I don't understand. What? I don't get SFM. I called my mom immediately. I said, ah, ah mommy, do you remember? The exam, the, I mean, the result is out, but do you remember what I told you that I wrote well? My mom said, CR. She's not writing I can, but trust me, she knows everything already. She said, CR. I said, Mommy, I did not pass CR. She said, Ah, oh, don't worry. Next diet, do you don't worry, don't give up. The Lord is on your side. I said, Mommy, I did not pass CR. I passed SFM. My mom said, what? I said, mommy, I passed SFM. She said, ha, you passed SFM. We were very excited. I go back to that, my friend, right? And I say, yo, bro, guess what? I passed SFM. And this, my friend, only had SFM for his own final paper. He told me that he did not pass SFM. And you know why I say he only had SFM was because it is still the same way I was reading that I was reading. It is still the same way I was not sleeping that he was not sleeping. While I was reading just Park, he was solving questions. He was even teaching people. And I tell you for a fact, the people he taught, they passed, right? And that's the point whereby you just find yourself asking yourself some questions like, what, what is really going on? Is, can't I pass this? Is this exam really that hard? What, what is happening? So the next diet, I told him, I said, brother, we are a chartered accountant. How I wish is on this, is on this. His name is Timmy. He works at EY. I said, brother, we are a chartered accountant. He said, Yes, we are a chartered accountant. Then I told him, don't worry. This time around, I'm not going to my friend's place. It is your side that I'm coming to. So we would read this exam together. Mind you, he already believed that because he was teaching people, that's why they distracted him from what he's supposed to learn. So he said, no, he's not doing night reading with me. That him is going to read at home. I said, okay, no problem. 
I tried to read at home the first time. I slept off. I told him, I'm not reading your house. I know I came to your house, but I'm going to the night reading, the place where I do my night reading. So I went there. I came back. I saw him with different test books on his table. Different test books. There is no I can study back on the table. What's going on? I spoke to him. I called him. I said, bro, can you do me one favor? Can you do away with every single order? I mean, last diet, if anybody has no idea, I knew how hard you prepared for this exam last diet. You solved a whole lot of questions. And I was aware. So do away with this study pack. Just do me this favor. Um, do it with, with every other test book. So this lecture center, do away with them. Just read, just study packs. Now, when I say read just study parts, I don't mean don't know calculations. I don't mean if you see calculations, close your eyes. Do theories alone. I'm not saying that. When I say do only study part, what I mean is that you would read from page one to, I'll tell you this, to any page you can stop because there is this way you're going to read and you just get tired of reading. But before you get tired, with the determination you used to start, you would have gotten to maybe 500 something pages. And the main trick about it is that you have to jot every single thing you've read extensively. Like you have to jot it like you are trying to create a note you want to go and sell for people to start passing the exam on. So you have to jot it like, like you are copying and paste from what I can wrote inside the study pack. Then, if you've jotted to some extent, right, the only thing you need to do at that point is leave the rest to God. Close that study pack if you are pressured. I'm telling you, close that study pack, right, and just focus only on your jottings. I tell you this, it may sound like, what am I saying? What does this mean? I mean, some, some of us, we think about it and it's going to sound very logical, but you close that study pack at even page 500 and something. I'm saying page 500 and something because I, I, I closed the study pack. I mean, I stopped jotting at 500 and something. I kept on reading, reading the rest. But, you know, I, I was not, I was not, my, every single thing I was rereading is not on my, on my jotter. So, I stopped at page 500 and some, 560 something. That's where I stopped, right? And I told him that my friend was very energetic. He finished the whole study pack. He jotted. I was like, let me see your jottings because I used to check people's jottings. When I tell you, oh, is that jottings? I'll go and check it. I saw his jottings. His jottings was very good. A full, uh, full scrap sheet, um, full scrap notes, complete 80 leaves. It, it was he jotted. I said, bro, don't worry. This exam, we have passed. I, mean, I was still writing CR. I did the same thing for CR. Only study pack. I did not use any other test book. I even gave out my test book. Self, um, Prince Cash Masters, I gave it out. Before that, teach yourself. I'm not teaching myself. I want to read the study pack. So I gave it out. Volume one, volume two. Mm, go. So we wrote the exam. When he came back from the exam, I asked him, I said, bro, Alpha, how did you go? How many questions did you answer? And this is the trick quest, this is the trickiest question. How many how many questions were you able to answer? He told me three and a half. Three and a half approximately. Three and a half. I said, which which of these questions are practical? He said uh, he, he tried to double into the number one question very quickly before towards the end of the exam. And that's the only half that I can remember that I did. I was like, but you did three and you are very well. He said, no, he started with theory. You started with theory and you wrote it very well. He said, brother, I wrote it very well. But it's, it's positive that something good is going to come out from this exam. I say, you don't worry. Let the results come out. I tell you today, as of May 2023, this guy who has been battling with SFM for a very long time passed SFM that diet with the highest he has ever passed since he has been writing SFM. He scored 60 something. It's not like he scored extra, but he passed SFM just like that. 
I have a, I have a, a you like call it, uh, she's my family friend. She's in skills currently. She was writing uh, ETS2 and I mean, I already know that study pack will do it. So I told her, I said, can you, can you do me a favor? Just read your study pack. I told her and she listened. She listened to me anytime I tell her things. And she did it. After she wrote the exam, she, she reached out to me. I have the chat on my phone. She reached out to me. She said, um, Uncle Doni, your people have done it again. Uh, one thing, one thing. I don't think I can, like, I don't think uh, the results was that. It's not what he taught us in class that she, the, the, the exam came out on. Uh, I don't know what to do. I told her, I only, I kept on asking her, but you jotted, right? You know, I told you to jot. You said yes. But you jotted. You said yes. Did you read your jot? You said yes. You read your study back. You said yes. I said, don't worry. Let's, let's wait for the exam. I was at Redeem Camp that day. In fact, I was just getting to Redeem Camp. I got a message. I passed. Now, she passed too, right? That one is on the other side. There is this friend of mine recently. This one is the, this is the last story that I'm going to say about Study Park. She recently just passed skills. During the period that I was, I mean, from 2019 to 2020, we read together every night. And she's a very good friend of mine. So we usually read together. But, and we learn from each other. So the way I read, the energy I bring to reading, she, I wake up, she reads a lot. So from skills, she already moved to professional. From professional, we're already reading together. I mean, this is someone who made me professional. I mean, and we started reading professional together. So last diet, this last diet that just passed, she told me, oh, uh, she's writing three papers, um, SFM. She does not know what she's going to do. Uh, the, am I sure this um, study pack thing that I told her would work? To the point that after church that day, I went to go and see her. I said, I went into the night reading class. I said, let me see your jotting. I checked her jottings too. She was at maybe page 700 or something. She was not done with the, with the study pack. I said, you see, these things that you've jotted there eh, is enough. Close it and only read your jottings. Like, you have to digest these jottings. It's not enough for you to just jot. You have to read the jottings like that is the last thing you are doing now. Don't open the study pack again. Anything you write in that jotting that you don't understand, leave it. Continue reading. You would catch it. Or just read what you have in that. Just make your the last thing you're going to open. Stay away from that study pack. It's scary. Read your jottings. Then she went for the exam. She wrote the exam. She came out because we spoke after the old exam. She said after X after SFM, she first cried. Like she came out of the exam hall to cry because she was still having audits. She said she came out to cry. Like she cried properly because she does not understand what she saw. She said, I don't know what I saw. I don't know what happened. I don't know what's there. I said, maybe you read the jottings that you read. Did you write something down? She said, yes. I said, you don't worry. Don't worry. Just be very optimistic about this exam. And lo and behold, when results came out, the person who was in skills when I was already in professional, as I'm speaking with you, Last diet, she passed two papers, and this diet, she's having just only one paper to write. So if I'm going to say I'm a senior colleague, I am only going to be a senior colleague for less than one year, because she now knows what to do and how to go about it. And it was after a while that it actually occurred to me that the study pack that I keep on saying people should read, right, is might act it, it might actually be the only solution to ICANN. Because for me, ICANN is the one so setting the questions to us. They are the ones who gave me the study pack and say, take this is what you should study before you can pass ICANN. Right? But then 
we now do it to a point whereby we go to lecture center i'm not saying it will help for you to go to lecture oh sorry i went for lecture center all through too so i was in a lecture center all through too all through so i can is the one who would say this is the question i want you guys to come and answer in the exam of. but for some reason we go ahead to go and be reading one man's test book that would literally try to double into the study pack but still won't go deep into the study pack i don't know if you guys are because you can't copy what the study pack says and put it there it's plagiarism i'll try to and everybody will try to do according as how they feel it should be so within my own mind i felt like i believe this was this has always been the the hidden truth for me for me this has always been the hidden truth about um, I can all this well, and for every, by God's grace, for every person that I've been telling, that, oh, this is what you have to do, do it. And for every single one of them that has actually done it, none of them has actually told me that it never worked, it didn't work, or I did not pass. And one thing about SFM, this is the final, this is going to be my final point. One thing about SFM is that the moment you are very positive that you've solved questions you've practiced all you need to do is to enter the exam hall look at the first number one question it's always the number one question if you can close your eyes and open other questions maybe you will pass but you see the number one question and you just lose yourself you look at it ah, wait I, I'm, I'm i want to know which which question this have i solved this type of question before ah, does this question does this does it relate with another you'll be very confused i'm just like that you will lose your balance and it's just a thing of fear just a thing of fear i can for you to pass you can write rubbish if you are sure of the rubbish you are writing i can probably pass you because they'll be like ah, this guy ah what's all this that you're writing you can't write all this and so i just want to believe that it is the confidence first and when i say you have to find your salvation there's this kind of relaxed mind that you would have if you've put in the efforts, right? And you just know that I've put in the effort and now I'm leaving it to God. If you are serving Ogun or any, put it to, if you are a Muslim, put it to, just do what you have to do. It comes with the confidence for you to enter the exam hall and not to be scared. For you to enter the exam hall and know that oh no this exam i've i've done it i'm good with this exam nothing again can come out of this exam and that's all i believe sfm needs because it's just the confidence just come into the exam hall sit down look at the number one question i don't have business with you let me go and see the theory and see what i can do in the theory let me start with that first. By the time you start with the theory, you'll find yourself already, yourself already in the exam hall. Even if you want to go and try something. Okay, so even if you want to go and try something on the practical side, you will try it with the confidence that I've done enough on the theory. I've done enough on the theory. You can't tell me what I wrote in that theory is not good enough for you to mark. And it's not like I would do that theory with the kind of confidence that I have that I answered question one, question two, question three, out of five questions, I've answered question four. Number one question is not the one that I will say I will abandon, I won't touch. It's not possible. You can't tell me that. So it comes with the confidence first. And the only way you can have the confidence is to put in the work. And the only way you can put in the work is you reading your study pack and jotting extensive when i say extensively please don't misquote me. you will judge like as if you are copying and pasting what i can don't shorten it write exactly what the wrote. it's just you know how to judge you are not writing the whole study pack back into a note all you need to do is to judge read your jottings pray about it and god is going to crown your effort no, there's nothing in i can Hmm. There's, and it took me, it took me, it took me writing it again and again and again and again and again and again before I could find out that this is all I have to do. And ever since I've been telling people, please, you are writing I can. 
See, I preach it like it's the word of God. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. Since the first minute you started speaking, um, my body has been itching me to ask. Honestly, I've, I've just been waiting. But can we just say thank you? Can we just clap for doing? Can we just say thank you? Honestly, you've done an amazing job. And um, this is. Please, if you have any questions, please just drop your question in the chat box. We might not be able to take people people's questions because of time, because we still have a couple of questions to ask. So if you have questions, just drop it in the chat box and we'll take it from there. But thank you, Doreen. Thank you, everybody, for thanking him, right? So I will just go into some direct questions so we can just get like some quick responses from you. Um, I know you said a lot about um, the study park, and I really liked what you said about digesting. And that thing is important, right? Because in the process of learning, you have to read, then revise, which aids digestion, which aids remembrance, right? And I think that's a very important part that people miss out. Um, so what I want to ask is a very quick question. Looking back, did you did you need to have written it so many times? Like looking back now, would you have written it shorter? Like, would you have written it? Is this something that you could have easily written shorter? Thank you for that question. At first, I would start with this. I'll be very quick with the, with the answer. When I said I started reading with my friends, the first diet I ever, like, me and my friends were reading together, I said we started reading together in a house, right? It was reading. Everybody will sit in the sitting room. Everybody, you pick your position. I'm always on the bed because I'm the lazy one. Some are going to be on the tiny table solving questions. We did that, and the only thing we were doing that was very effective was our study packs, because, I mean, that's all we had then. And from my story, you would see that I passed each, 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 each diet until I changed my strategy. So answering that question, I would have been done with ICANN I, I, I may not even have the story. I may not be here this night to even say well. Wow. I would have been wow. done with ICANN long time ago because for me to say I had issues with my BSc, for me to see myself as someone who reading is very hard for, for me to see myself as someone who, had, before I can assimilate, is very hard. And they said ICANN is one exam that, and I tried it and I wrote audits. And I passed on my first trial, and that increased my confidence. And I knew that oh no, I'm going to kill it. If I had continued with that same mentality, I would have been qualified a longer time ago, a very long time ago. Because a friend of mine, one of us in that house, only wrote I can two times. When I was able to source money to go for lecture center. He said he does not have money for lecture center. He was just in the house. Wake up, eat, read. Wake up, eat, read. And I tell you this, when I decided that, oh, it's only a study pack that I wanted to read, I called him. I said, bro, I, I remember that time that you were reading. You always jot. Can I have your jottings? He told me, ah, no. My, I took my things to Kano. I said, oh, don't worry. I'm going to get my own jottings. And that is basically what happened. So, if I should look back, I would have been qualified a long time ago. If it is only study part that I've been reading, I would have qualified a very long time ago. A very, very long time ago. All right. Thank you for very right, thank much you. for that. Um, again, I know you wrote a couple of times, right? And people emphasize the need of writing a couple of times. Well, looking back, would you advise people to write every diet? Like, would you advise people to just keep writing when, like, when they are feeling that something is wrong? Would you, would, what would be your advice? Would you, what would you advise them? So, basically, answering this question, I'm going to debunk a rumor, right? Something that people used to say. I joined them in saying it so I can, you know, convince people that are not on my same strategy. Because, I mean, it's not interesting for me to go and do that night reading alone, if I'm going to be honest. So I'll prefer we go together. So if I'm, if I know that I'm not going to write, if I know you're not going to write the diet, I'll probably tell you, ah, 
you don't know if I can serve you the question, the, the answer, or the question that you already know. So let's do this thing together. Don't do that. Don't do that. Let's write it together. Let's write it together. So if I say don't skip a diet, and he, and also if I say, oh, you can skip it, I, the only thing that I know that I always try to avoid is to get comfortable because there is something I'm trying to chase. I have not gotten that thing, right? Why Why am I sitting down? Why Why am I, what, what am I, if I sit down, what, what, what is my sitting down doing? I mean, I, I know I want to qualify. I can't just do this thing that is called five year. So if you write 10 diets, I can't wipe everything all. We'll start all over from the beginning. So I've already passed, even if it is one that I already passed. If I relax, who knows when I'm going to pass the subsequent one? I mean, that's what I used to tell myself. So it helps me to have the confidence that, oh, I mean, I read last diet, I read this diet. I mean, if I accumulate everything all together, one diet will come where my confidence is going to be so strong and I'll be able to, you know, write the exam and fully pass. So I, I won't say don't, but I am fully, for me, my own observation, I would say don't, don't, don't skip any diet. There's no, there's no point skipping a diet. Uh, if you're looking at the money, the money is nothing. If you're looking at the effort, if you pass, you know what the kind of joy that is going to be within you. So I would say, don't skip, don't skip any diet. There's no, there's no help that it brings to you. You say, oh, you're already stressed out. You're trying to relax. There's no relaxation outrightly. You are just deceiving yourself outright because you know that you are trying to chase something. You've not gotten it. You are now relaxing to catch your breath. Then you now start running again. I mean, why not just keep on running until you get it? That's that's my own point of view. Thank you. Oh, thank you. All right, thank, thank you so much, right, Danny. Um, and just to add to that, writing is repeatedly right. Um, so if 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 there's anybody maybe that has been filling a particular paper or writing it repeatedly, what would you say they should do? Right, because one of the things that we want to really achieve is that we don't want anybody to keep failing. That that's the reason why we're here. That's the reason why we're trying to learn from you. Right. How can they avoid like why can't you just write can can like, like so if you are going to tell somebody, okay, whether somebody that's just starting or whether somebody that is or whether somebody that's reaching a lot of times, right? What would you advise them? What would you advise? If they want to guarantee their success in any paper they are writing, what do you think they should do? What do you think they should do? So basically, I like this question because this is this is my own uh, tactics. So there are two things I believe you have to do. You have to learn from others and also learn by yourself. I'll put it that way. So those are the two things. You learn from others and you learn by yourself. But if I'm going to put a percentage to learning from others and learning by yourself, I won't say 50-50. I would say 70-30. And I will give 70 to you learning by yourself and I will give 30 to you learning from others. So it's something for you to pay for lecture center and you go for the lecture center and you're listening to every single thing they are teaching, you're following as they are teaching it, then you say, oh, and I know a, a whole lot of us attend lecture centers and if we're not, maybe grow light. But for lecture centers, you go there from morning, like seven, we'll be closing six. Some lecturers are so excited about these lectures, they will teach you till seven. And mind you, for someone like me, my brain has already shut down since two o'clock, but I know my money won't waste. So from two, I will sit there till seven, listening to literally nothing. Because I mean, I'll be writing notes, I'll be there. But I found out that the most effective thing that would really work for anybody is 
after you've done the weekend, we, they used to say it, right? I mean, a lot of people, our parents used to say it. Read your book, read your book, read your book. We always look at it like, uh, are we not reading? But the real truth is that, for I can, the only trick for you to have that big time confidence, big time confidence to face I can head on, is for you to read to the point. And you know, reading, as I said, which I, I believe I've covered, reading a very big pack may look like, I just read this thing now, 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 now. Then I slept, I woke up, I tried to remember. I don't understand. I, I, it felt like I'm reading it all over from the beginning again. And the way the, that's where the jotting comes in, right? That's where I would say jots. Because now when you read the study pack and you know that uh, while you're reading, you actually jotted it down properly. Don't stress your brain going back to it again, right? Just read to the end. Continue jotting. Make your first time opening the study pack jotting. Then after you're done with jotting, close it. Now face your jottings. Read just that. When it, well, when the weekend comes, which is Saturday and Sunday, go for lectures. Use that one to relax because this time around, you're not jotting. You're not reading by yourself. You're just listening to what they are teaching in class. Just listen. Be relaxed. Oh, this is how they do this thing. Oh, MPV, you do that, you do this. If you, if you read MPV in the study pack before the class, you would follow through with every single thing the lecturer is saying easy. I remember all this that time. When the lecturer is teaching me, I know I've not started reading just since that period, but I can still remember that this is exactly how they arranged it even in the study pack. That, oh, what the committee, this, this, what this, this, this. I understand that very properly. And I'll be hearing what I read. So why am I in this class if I'm hearing what I read? So basically, it's not like it won't help, right? But the main effect, because it's not what it's not them that would go and teach you inside the exam hall. It is you that they are trying to fortify and say, oh, we are trying to make sure that you are ready for this exam. So basically, after learning what they teach you, meanwhile, immediately they get the teach you finish, they go their way. If you like, know it. If, I mean, I said it now. From two o'clock, I'm not listening to anything again. And we attend that lecture. They don't care if you are listening or not. I mean, they can try to say, oh, you are not listening. Stop sleeping. Stop. But it's a lie. They will continue. Because others are listening. Others that think they are listening. Because I don't know why you sit. Even generator cannot work from, from seven o'clock to six o'clock. And that's a machine. Right? If four does not finish, it's going to knock. Right? So the main thing that I feel is effective for that people should actually do is to give your own time, read at your own pace. I mean, 90 something days to the exam now, you still have a whole lot of time. I, I cover 500 in, in 500 and something in say three weeks because you have to give time to reading the pack too. Right, I'm reading your jottings too. So you can, once you've jotted, you can give your jottings maybe two, two days. In two days, I finish this old jottings. Just read it through. In two days, I finish this old jottings. Read it through. And with those two tactics, you can't enter the exam hall and freeze. It's not possible. You can't enter the exam hall and you see a question and you won't know what to write. It's not, it's not, it can't work. It's even if you've forgotten, something will bring you back. One word will bring, reading other questions will bring the answer back to you. So that's, that's, that's just my, my own view on that question. Thank you so much, Doing. Um, um, and just before I go into the question of the audience, one, one thing I really got from what you said, which is, um, I think it's more of taking personal responsibility of that, of your reading. Do you understand? That's what I figured out because you mentioned that okay, you can be in a class from seven on Saturday to seven p.m. and literally you might forget half of the things because there's a lot of lot of things they are telling you. But one thing that is important that you said is you need to take out time to be able to study and take control of that which you are studying. Right? Take personal responsibility, not just oh what they teach you is what. No, there's a process for reading and assimilation and all those things. So you cannot just expect that immediately they teach you something or you just carry it straight to the exam or right and we will still be attending lectures two weeks to another day. like how do you want to assimilate those information jenna so what what he's trying to say is that it's time to be able to um drill down on that and 
Do, do you want to say something? It's not, it's not really excited. <laughs> yeah, so just take time to drill down what you've said, which is read, jot, right? And like I always say, the reason why people fail is not because it's not because they go into exam they don't write. No, is that what they write, they don't get maximum marks. That's where the problem is. So just like what Donya said, he said someone read, someone just answered three questions, three and a half out of probably five, right? And he got sixty something. Got the highest has ever gotten. I think that happened to me also in advance. Sorry, 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 sorry. Generally, people used to see that thing that I, I did. I don't know what I wrote, and I scored sixty something. They they would classify it as miracle. Meanwhile, you did something. A whole lot of lecture centers used to say that thing, and they class and a whole lot of people would be in that class and be expecting miracle to happen. And this is someone who read the study part in total just to go inside the exam hall to answer three and a half questions and he got the highest he has ever got since he has been writing I can. So that's 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 what I just wanted. Mm. All right, thank you so much. So um just, just take questions strictly from the chat box because of time. Um so um and Yemisi is saying you'll be back to your testimony. Amen, MC, amen. Um Messi is saying, what if you do so well on the study pack yet fail? This was my case in advanced audit. So what we, what we see to Messi? She's read advanced or she's read the entire part. I would I used to advise I I I mean before time, generally I've told people ah, it's only audit, it's only the audit part that I wrote that I passed. But also while I was reading audit, and if Messi can join me or testify to this, you will read audit part to a point that some of the, maybe you read types of maybe uh, maybe you read a particular thing on audit in chapter one then you now go to let's say chapter three it's not always far from each other you go to chapter three and you would be reading almost the same thing again then you leave chapter three again you go to chapter five and you it will almost feel like you are reading the same thing again then you leave chapter five you probably go to maybe chapter 13 it will ah, this is I'm reading the same thing now, right? And you you would refuse to know the difference between what is in chapter what one in chapter and in chapter one. what is in chapter two, and what much is in chapter three, and what is in chapter eight, and what is because they are not the same, basically. And that's one thing that I've observed in audits, right? So it's not enough for you to read and just have like these tactics in your head because audit will make you have the tactics. It will, it will give you this strategy that oh if they ask me any question i know for a few things that i'm going to say that i can won't tell me that it's not there it's not possible i don't know if people do it but i'll tell you something now that in every chapter there is always something that differentiates it for me when i was writing audits when i saw that i was already reading almost the same thing all at once like i mean i read this one it sounds the same way i read that one it sounds this way. i read this one too like they were light it like number one number two and you almost be reading the same thing word for word right what i did was for me it was confusing because now what do you want me to do if you are talking about types of maybe something and it's the same types of that and it's the same what, what should i now do so what i did was to note the difference between what is in chapter one and note the difference between what is chapter one, what is in chapter three, what is in chapter eight, what is in chapter 13. So when I'm reading, I'm also reading the difference just so that in my head, I know what to write under this particular question. I mean, the similar ones is free. I'll write the similar ones, right? But you see what makes it a difference? I'm also going to put it there. I mean that's that's for audit basically because you can audit will give you this um this kind of vibe that uh, uh you can write you can you can even ask for extra sheets in audits basically you would ask you would ask for extra sheet because you read it to the point that you are very sure you're very certain that you're ready and mind you it's not enough for you to read um the study pack jot as i said you will read the study pack jot then you will now go back to die your jottings. I want to explain this reading of jottings very well. 
I don't know if anybody have done speed reading before, right? So you have like a summary of, let's say, 100 pages, right? You give yourself a day. It's going to be, it's always fun when you are reading your journals, right? You give yourself a day. See what you can do in a day. And mind you, there's this tactics I learned. You time yourself, just time yourself. Say, oh, I want to start reading from now to you. Just a countdown, not just saying I want to read from. Just a countdown. 30 minutes, let me see what I can do. Then you start reading. Now, mind you, the psychology side of it is that you know that there's a countdown going on. And you know that you're trying to achieve something before that 30 minutes finish. You won't do any other thing. You just do it. So little by little like that, I started learning speed reading. Right? So I'll just try to cover that jottings in, let's say, two days. Everything, 100 pages, two days. When I'm done with that, I'll probably relax for a while. Right? Maybe do other things, play with some people. Then I come back again. I start that same thing because now I know that I can finish my jottings in two days. Anything that will make me read that jottings for three days, that means something is wrong. And if I read it for three days, that means I'm already slacking because I know I can do this thing in two days. Now, with that, you find yourself reading that jottings and you already know how long it's going to take you to actually master your jottings. And for audits, because we are talking about audits, I tell you this now, right? That every single question that looks the same, you don't answer it like the way you see it. Like, oh, for instance, they can ask you three questions in the exam hall, and maybe the three questions as the chapter one chapter. You will now, in your head, right, you can write the same answer. You believe this, the, next, the next thing is the same answer you're going to write. But the exact thing that makes the difference, you may not even pick it out because you would have, like, maybe you're listing, like, 13 options. The exact thing that makes it a difference, you won't pick it. I mean, a whole lot of people are passing um, audits, and I don't think... There might be some lecturers out there that they will say, oh, the, meet this lecturer, is good with audit. He, he, see, no audit lecturer would teach you outside study park. I, I say this one with my full chest. No audit lecturer would teach you outside. They can't even bring their book out to, to make it a bit different from the study park. That's for audit. Audit is even the 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 quickest way for you to test my logic but one thing you should note is the difference the difference between those similar answers those similar options you must note the difference because they are different they are not the same i can is not trying to give you a study part to repeat words right but they are very confusing to the point that you feel like oh i already know it so basically that's just that's just what one should just note or not all right thank and you by god's right, grace to work for you, you. So amen 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 thank you so much then we're wrapping up in the next five ten minutes thank you so much for doing it. it was really helpful and um just i mean you know it, it's you know sometimes we don't realize why we go on some certain journey right and for you i can say that you gained a lot of wisdom in passing exams right and which you said something about countdown timer, which is very important, right? Just even timing yourself, giving yourself that discipline, right? And which is something that we have on Go Light, where you can set your reading time, you can have a countdown timer for every day you read, so that you monitor your progress and you can ensure that you are doing something consistently. And um, I like also like what you said around um, understanding the differences in audits, right? Because audit too can be very funny. Because if you look at the study pack, look at the way they answer, give you questions. Sometimes they demand more of practicality. So you need to be able to um, find yourself into that practicality. So thank you so much, Doreen. Um, I think we have about two more questions. If you have any other questions, please just drop it in the chat box. We won't be, we won't be able to take any, any, any other person to speak out. So someone is saying that when you say study packs, do you mean I can't pathfinder past questions? Or do you mean like study packs? And just to ask, so, so do you also access. read questions? Do you also... You use that. Use that. So, when I say study pack, I mean I can study pack that blue, big, scary book. Yes, just study packs. And if you say, do I use Pathfinder? I'll say yes, I use that too. But what I do with that is to just go through 
um, questions and answers to see what I'm looking to meet in the exam hall. So, as I said, it's just for you to go and get familiar with the questions, see how they answer it. And one thing about um, the Pathfinder is that I used to find difference in how, for instance, for CR, there's a way a lecture center is actually taking group accounts. Then you now go on Pathfinder. You will now see solution of anybody can actually have to testify to this. You go on Pathfinder. You see how they solve group. You see how um, I can solve um, group accounts on Pathfinder. You will see the difference and you'll be lost because some will teach you in a particular method. Some other people will teach you in a particular method. That's one confusion that you have to know. I remember when me and Tolu was trying to do, oh, let's teach ourselves group. She came with a method. Me, I was looking at her, what are you doing? I said, no, this is not how it is done. I brought my own method too. I was looking like, ah, she said, no, she does not know this one. And we'll both pass that same exam. I don't know if you understand. So reading the study pack is what I'm going to really place the priority on. Study pack. Jot it. Read your jottings. Okay. All right. Yes. Thank you so much, Danny. So I think we have two more questions. Charity has another question. Edo's Charity. She's saying this is her first time writing I can, and she's going out for the five. But people keep discouraging her on it. What does she do? What do you advise? My the my family friend that I said I'm currently talking to you based on I can. She's also writing the O4 excuse. As I said, as I've been saying since morning, right? All you need to do is to read your study path and jot, right? You know you are writing five, right? You know you have five study paths to cover. You know you have five different jotters to, to accumulate together. You know you have five uh, different jotters that you have to read, read, and read again. The moment you've covered enough, so I'm not saying you should cover everything, because don't listen to anything anybody says. As I used to tell a friend, the only thing you need to pass I can is 50. And I'll tell you something today. If you read your study pack again, and you jot it, the five, don't, don't jot it with the intention of because I think SFM used to bring out this fair whereby people usually look for very hard questions. Simple ones, they don't. There was a diet that I can brought questions that see a new, a new student that you are teaching SFM would see that question and laugh and check the exam again and say, is this my question? No, this, are you sure this is for professional? And that's because I can't know, they know what they are doing. Because I mean, why are you guys saying this exam is hard? Right. So I will say to you, if you are writing five, don't listen to anybody. They are not the one who will sit in the exam hall with you. It's you and God that will sit in that exam and write what you have to write. You need your confidence. So I would say don't listen to what anybody has to say because you can't let them tell you what to do. It's your exam. You are not trying to kill somebody. You are trying to kill Ikan Shah. But you are not trying to kill somebody. And I can't want you to kill them, basically. So, just just Thank you. Uh, focus on the study pack, and that's all you need. Yeah, that's yeah, this makes a lot of sense. So, just to recap what you said, for someone that wants to determine I'm right, once you start early, once you know that you have five study packs to read, take your time to read them, take your time to practice, pace, pace yourself, right? Plan ahead, know how many hours you want to read per day. Right, and um, we're even currently doing like a hundred days reading challenge on Go Live. I think around day ninety something. So you can join. You can join it. I think you can check it on the chat box. It helps you to just be consistent. So if you're reading, if you want to write five, don't be scared. Just ensure that you pace yourself and you read what you're supposed to read. So let's take the last question. So Favor is saying, um, what do you do when you do not feel motivated to read? What do you do when you are studying the pack and not understanding or assimilating? This is the this the this is going to be the shortest uh, uh, answer. You close it and you stop. Don't worry. 
close it, sleep. But you won't close it and not open it again. Take your time. As I used to say, as I read very often, there are some times that you will see me in that class and I'll just be sleeping. I won't open book at all. Don't even touch. Don't even see if you bring study packs to my front. I can store you with it. And you know I can enjoy you. So if you feel if you don't feel motivated, as long as you're not giving up, right? You should sleep. You should relax. You should, you should not try to die there. Just sleep. Play. If you need to go out with friends, go. Even if the exam is tomorrow, don't miss your exam, Sha. But go and relax. It's not a do or die affair. You will come back to it. If you play too much, and mind you, there's this thing about playing when you play too much self, then you know what you are supposed to be doing. There's this kind of new spirit that comes to you and say, no, ah, no, I'm not supposed to be playing. I'm supposed to be reading. Then you come back to that reading. Then you find out that you are back to the same spirit that you are looking for. You don't need to listen to motivational speakers. Go and play. Even if you've not started reading, just continue to play. As long as you have it in mind that you are writing the exam, please go and play. As long as you write it, go and play. And you know that you still have to read that pack. Because there's this thing people do. You can personally just um, uh, uh, forecast or just project how you plan on finishing the study pack. I mean, I do it, so I believe a lot of people do it. So you just go, just go. You can think of it. You will process it. And mind you, it's even sweet that way, self, because the moment you play, you will know that now you need speed to actually cover a lot. And you cover, you will just be there. If everybody is sleeping, you won't sleep again because you've played. Mm. Mm. Thank, you so Thank you so much. I, I think, so much. yeah. That, that makes a lot of sense, right? Just before I recap, right? So we just like people to do one more thing before we go. Um, just tell us one one thing that you've learned from today. One thing that you're going to practice. We know you learned a lot. Just tell us one thing that you're going to learn, one thing that you're going to practice while we wrap up, right? And please, I'm waiting for your messages in the chat box. Just one thing that you learned and you're going to implement. And I really like, um, honestly, I really like what you said, which is, at the end of the day, sometimes your head gets full. You just need to relax. So balance it, balance it. Like, yes, I can require a lot of time, but balance it. Take time out to, to rest. Take time out to read. Take time out to balance it. When you feel tired, um, rest, sleep, right? Speak to people. Like, from one thing I noticed, I don't said a lot. Doing work with people a lot. Doing wasn't really doing solo, right? So read with people communicate to people we have a community um for people writing like an exams. you can join our community people ask questions there people just are just there to 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 help you and guide you right um so thank you guys so, um anita is saying she's going to jot extensively very important ellen is saying she's going to change her strategy um esther going to read her study pack um and jesu um Tommy Fire is saying he's going to read study pack and jot and jot over again and read. Um Yamichi is saying that she's going to ensure that she focuses on completing the pack. We read and revise again and again. My jot is <laughs> Esther is saying, let me go and read all of the other books that I bought. <laughs> study packs me. <laughs> Please don't make my chest Please post Esther. Chest post, um it continues um, and non-stop okay. jotting. Honestly, um for me. Anna is saying for me, it is to give move, it is to keep moving, worry less about the money. You don't know which diet you pass. And meanwhile, you get better through the journey. Um, and just just to just to reference what Anna said, many times, right? You know, the reason one of the reasons why people also fail is that they are in different phases of their life. So maybe you're in a phase where you've never read for two months before or three months before, or even you never read for four weeks before. Now you now want to read for two months. It's going to stretch you now. So and that's one of the reasons that people feel because it's demanding more from you that you currently have. So you have to expand yourself for it. So in that process of expanding and you are writing, is making you, that's why that's people feel. So the idea is to get yourself ready, right? And um, like I said, we have 100 days challenge that we're doing. You have an opportunity to win um, ICANN scholarship when you do, and also even some, even some goal as credit. So there's a link in the chat box for you to join our our reading challenge. Um, so Shafa is saying read our jottings and, and avoid unnecessary textbooks. 
Um, Linda is saying read extensively. I think everybody is just saying read. I immediately Lawal is saying read extensively. Study parts, not the difference between the chapters. <laughs> um, it's like everybody gets the only thing everybody really got was just okay. I said one thing too. So well, yes, yeah, so, um Bukola is saying time management is important and they need to ginger and read. And it, um, Esther is saying it's okay to play. Yes, Esther, thank you very much. Um, so one last thing before we go, we'd just like to say a big thank you to doing so, guys. Just say thank you um in the chat box, say thank you in the chat box to doing. It was a very, very, very good session. You could you could see that doing really had he had really gone through the experience and he understands he understands like what it takes to pass. He understands um how to do things better, he understands how to how to you understand how growth has, has happened, right? And um doing just one last word, is there anything you want to say before we wrap up? What's what's the one last thing you want to say to people that are writing? I know, I know everybody keeps on saying okay, to start with um, thank you very much for having me and thank you very much for listening. But I would say don't forget God in everything you do, which for me is also as important as reading. But as far as I can is concerned, reading is what I can want. God's grace is what you you need because you need that. It goes far beyond I can. It goes far beyond I can, to be honest. And you'd be surprised if you pray, if you find your salvation while you're trying to do the hard things, you don't know the amount of gifts you would get until things start happening and you start looking like, oh, yeah, this, these are the things I pray for and just uh st and stay true to yourself right that's that's the only thing basically and thank you guys i really enjoyed expressing myself this night so, thank you so much thank, thank you so much i yeah. really honestly i think we'll still find time to do this another time um because it was really really good i think that people still need to even know like the strategies to actually even write exams so when when you when we were clear do another session on actual strategies like okay two weeks to your exam what are you supposed to be doing how do you prep your mind how do you ensure that when you're going to the exam you are not you're not getting distracted or a question is not throwing you off balance like just actual strategies i think that will take that maybe very close to the diet or something um, if you don't mind so guys thank you very much thank you everybody for joining thank you for staying true Please don't forget to join our reading don't challenge. Join our reading on challenge. Google Live. The link in the chat box. The link in the chat box. And um, thank you, everybody. And have thank a you very good night. Thank, thank, thank you so much for doing. Thank you so much. Truly really grateful. Yeah. Truly really grateful. Night, everyone. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good night.